Hi, this is A Drink, I'm Daniel, and today I want you to imagine a far, far away time, long ago, long in the distance, long in the past, when you remember the past. A time when you would take all of your dinner money, run round the corner to the paper shop and stick it all into the paper shop man's till. A time when sour rainbow belts were 2p instead of the £18.50 that they are in current day Brexit Britain. Remember sticking one of those things into your face and getting the sourness and the... Ooh, that's sour. Have you got that thought now? Good. Because so did Guelo when they made this thing. This is a rainbow sherbet sour and it's supposed to taste exactly like that memory that you're tasting, thinking, remembering right now. So let's drink it. So this is a can full of nostalgia all the way from Hong Kong where Hong Kong brewing psychos Guelo decided to make this nostalgic beer and yeah look at it it's it's it looks just like the sweets. Now there's not a whole lot online about their origin story but what I did find out was that they brew beers that are meant to be enjoyed in a Hong Kong street market and I've never been to a Hong Kong street market but I am in my sweaty sweaty living room with these lights beating down on me so I'm going to enjoy it here as nature intended, warm. So Guelo itself means ghost chap in Cantonese and that's obviously the language of Hong Kong. Ghost chap is a nice jovial way of describing a foreigner, I hope, because it could be a slur. The sour itself is a little limited batch kind of guy. It's a 4.5% ABV. It's two UK units if you're wondering and it's made from raspberry puree, lemon zest and kettle sour which I can only assume is the stuff that congregates at the bottom of your kettle around the element, the little brown stuff. That lime scale, it's, it's disgusting, so you should go and clean your kettle if it's on there, because it's disgusting. It's also got some lactose in it, which is the worst beer ingredient known to man, woman or child, but we'll give it a try, because it's so nice. The can, look at the can. And speaking of the can, it's the main reason that I bought this beer, to be honest. I mean, look at it, it's so nostalgic, it's rainbowy, it's really striking, it evokes memories of sort of going into the corner shop and buying the strawberry laces or the the rainbow laces from the man in the shop and coincidentally the man who owned the shop around the corner from me was from hong kong i'm not saying he had anything to do with this beer but too much of a coincidence for my liking now they've got a really cool font on the front that just says rainbow sherbet sour you know exactly what you're getting and then they've got their lowercase guelo along with some cantonese writing which i can only assume means guelo again because yeah. And there's a threat on here that it's going to take you on a journey through sweet and sour. I usually only like one at a time, but let's try it. Why not? So enough of the can. Let's just open it. So it's got a black lid as well. Sorry, a black little pop top. I don't know what you call that. What do you call that? Top of a can. Doesn't matter. Oh, we'll get it into a glass after I've decided how much smoke's in it. This is going to be raspberry. Now, sours, not only my favourite thing in the world, but we'll just get it in the, in the, out of the can. All of the can isn't going to go into this glass, so I'm not even going to try it, so sorry for that. And there we go. Obviously, you can't see me at the moment, so let me just sort that out. Right, it smells immediately fizzy, like a sour, like a really sour sweet, um... I don't know if it's sour sweet. Well, I guess raspberry laces and, and rainbow laces. And... So in colour, it's kind of like a, I would say amber, probably a dark amber. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's very, it's orange, but it's got like a, more on the side, a burnt amber. Let's go for burnt amber. So burnt amber. Smells of, there is like, there's, some, there's, there's a raspberry, obviously that's what it is. It's like a berry sort of sweetness very very nice so that's what it smells like no lemon can't smell any lemon in there can smell the lime scale from the kettle though because that's the sourness of it and you can also smell there's a little hint of the almost a vanillariness of the lactose there's also it's a peculiar cola cube kind of smell cola cube being the best sweet and if this was a cola cube flavored beer I'd, i wouldn't even be i'd just be drinking it be all done so no head that might be my pouring, but it doesn't seem to have poured with a head. Um, can I interest you in a head? I'll give you a head in a minute. Yeah, no head. Let's drink it. Let's try it. Mm. So that's sour. Immediately, oh, I'm falling all over. I'm having to move. I'm sat down. I don't normally sit down to do this, but I thought I'd do like a little, 
a little staged area, but yeah. So, it's quite, um, it's not super sour. It's quite sour, but it's not super sour. There's definitely raspberry in there, obviously, because it's raspberry puree. I'm not really getting a lot of the lemon. I might be wrong about that, but it's kind of like the aftertaste. So when you eat too many fizzy sweets, um, I don't like the, I, I don't know what the, the Haribo ones are called, Tangfastics. If you have loads of Tangfastics, your mouth gets a little burn going in it, and that's kind of what I can taste at the moment. There is like a, it's not burning, but it's kind of like a hint of, you know, sourness strapped at the back, trapped at the back. Yeah, I don't know, the kettle sour thing, I'm assuming is how they get it to the sour point, so that is the taste that I don't recognise here, I guess. That's the taste that's um, overwhelming you. The raspberry doesn't feel like it's the main flavour, it feels like it's sort of secondary to... The light just went off above me. Secondary to what, what we're doing here, um, which is kind of a shame because it's supposed to be rainbow sherbet sour, which is mostly raspberry. It does definitely taste like those belts. Absolutely, it tastes like the sherbet sour stuff, but I don't know. I don't think I'd order it. I don't think I'd drink it again. It's kind of, it's a little bit too sour and nothing to really redeem it, I don't think. It's just kind of like, I don't know. It's a, it's a sort of wishy-washy beer. I always feel bad saying bad things about beers, but yeah, I don't know that it's for me. I'll keep drinking it obviously because it's my job, but I don't know. It's disappointing because I really wanted to like it. And I think that it's kind of, yeah, a little bit underwhelming. It doesn't taste great. The more that I drink it, the more I'm kind of going, it's a struggle to get through. And you know, if you like sours, maybe, I just get a smell of B.O. Do I smell of B.O.? Does this beer smell of B.O.? I hope it's me, because I hope it's not the beer. It might be the beer. Anyway, the can's really interesting, but maybe I'm the wrong person to test this. Yes, there's no head, there's no sediment. It's just kind of a wishy-washy beer. It's almost like a, a really sour fruit juice, which might be a good thing if you like really sour fruit juices. I personally don't. And that's Rainbow Sherbet Sour by Guelo. And that is a solid 10p mix out of 50, 50p mix. It's not a good scoring system. I didn't say it was gonna be a good scoring system, but here we are. So yeah, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you've really liked it, then pop a little like down there. If you've really, really liked it, pop a little subscribe down there because that's really, really helpful for me and makes me want to do more of these. I mean, I'm gonna do more of these anyway, but it's nice to have you along for the ride because it's fun to drink these terrible, terrible beers every now and then. And that's that, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Drink Tango Drink. So I'm not gonna drink this, I'm just gonna tip this away, so bye.